Not since the 2018 banking sector cleanup has the name Dufour featured so much in national conversations. Then, the government revoked the license of some 11 local banks, the most prominent arguably being Unibank, part of the business empire of former finance minister Dr. Kwabna Dufour. Dr. Dufour, who is also a former governor of the Bank of Ghana, has said very little about it until now. All my companies were being managed by a board of trustees. You understand? So I do not know what they were talking about. I was not on the board. I was not managing any of these companies. Okay? But as we're speaking now, the case is in court. And I want to suggest that we wait until the court comes up with their verdict. Okay? The banking sector cleanup just didn't touch Dufour. It touched Kwabna Dufour II, who was the then chief executive of Unibank. The report into the operations of the bank asked some tough questions of the management of the bank and what regulators said were weak internal control systems that has triggered multiple legal challenges from the Dufours. Now father and son, founder and chief executive, want to be president and member of parliament respectively. Sir so from please, we need an MP who can mobilize resources and make things move. We don't need an MP who's going to sit in parliament and wait for the salary to come in. You need a businessman who can take a risk, who can make things happen. We are preparing for 2024 elections. For some of us, a major issue that is always in our mind is how do we empower the party? How do we empower the grassroots, the bedrock, the foundation of our party? It's been said in the Bible. When the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? To the former finance minister, there is no doubt there is nothing in the Unibank episode that should affect his son's chances of becoming a member of parliament for the Setre Afram Plains constituency. Cobra is 40 years. You understand? Cobra had his PhD at the age of 28, 27. A publishable dissertation he wrote. At 40, he was to become a politician. What's wrong with that? Did he consult you? Of course he did. I, I encouraged him to do it. You blessed him? I blessed him. I encouraged him, and I'm supporting him. Why not? He deserves to do that. As the divorce go on to their campaign rounds, it is likely they will face more questions about what made them such a wealthy family and what continues to raise serious questions.